What's up guys? Do you know the ESP8266? In this video, I show you how you can do this. Now let's start. This was an old honey centrifugal machine. Now it's used for mixing water with sugar, which then is used as food for the bees. Now first you have to confirm with this orange blinky button. Then you can, with the push button below, start the machine. And now it's rotating. For stopping the machine, you have to push the button below again. If the machine runs and you push the safety button, the machine stops immediately. For restart it, you have to turn the red button, then it comes up. Then you have to confirm with the orange blinky button. Then the machine is ready again. In addition to this, there's an optional feature to control it over the internet with the smartphone. There you have the start stop button and then there is the confirm button. Furthermore, there is this button which you can push and now it starts a program which runs in the background. This program runs until you disable it with the smartphone. First, I plan which components are important for this project. That means what does the machine should do in the end. Before I started, it was used without electrical motor. That means you had to turn it by hand with a crank handle. The most important feature is that it runs with an electrical motor. And the other features aren't so relevant. They are for the experience and with this I can learn how to program the ESP8266. The optional feature are for example the water pump and that the machine can connect with the internet to control it with the smartphone. Next step was to plan the PCB board how to compare the components together. Then testing small programs, make this step by step until every function was programmed and all were built on the testing breadboard. Next step was the mechanical part. I draw the components with Autodesk Inventor, the 3D drawing software. After everything were planned, I gave the plans to my brother who made me these mechanical parts. Then I welded the mount for the electrical box. Next step was the electronic port. I made an electrical box where I placed all ports inside, then made the correct holes for the cable in and out ports. The most important features worked fine. However, it, I had one problem, which was the part with the water pump. It needed more power than expected, 
and now the power supply and the H-bridge controller were definitely too small. Owing of the small box, there isn't enough place for a bigger power supply. On account of this, I decided to remove this feature. And for the next version, I'm going to change some components and I learn from the mistakes I had done. As long as the most important feature works fine, I'm happy with this project. It was a perfect experience. I made a lot of mistakes, but I learned so many new things. For example, how to program the Blink app. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked the video, then give me a thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss the next video, then subscribe to my channel. Stay productive and I hope I will see you in my next video.